Let me guess. Tell me something about war. Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman never changes. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife. Whoa, actual people? And the son he'd never seen. <laughs> Cinnabunny, welcome. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I mean, the war was pretty much already over, but I mean, whatever. World okay. Awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We Ar began atomic to use atomic power energy not as a weapon. But it's a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots. Fusion-powered cars. This is really cool. Computers. I mean, wearable computers. Totally wearable. In the 21st century. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. Whoa, that's cool. Look at that tough guy. It is now. Wipe your nose, soldier. Seventy-seven. We stand on the brink of total war, and I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Ooh, he's like a prequel Ron Perlman. Pre Perlman. Turns out I'm actually a woman, though. <laughs> I think I'll play as a dude in this playthrough. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, huh? Ah, uh, I get it. He's practicing a speech. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right. Okay, well, I want to customize the old face arena. Actually, if I were her and I was watching my husband, like, mutate in the, uh, in the mirror, that would be very upsetting to me, I think. Ooh, face sculpting. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can, yeah, you, instead of, like, moving sliders around, you can individually change features, which is cool. All right, let's adjust. Okay, accept. Oh. Very strapping. Oh, nice. All right. Let's change my hair. Go start with some good... So they always have really good haircuts in this game. I'll probably just end up making myself. Oh, yeah. The Creeper. This is the, the GTA. Yeah. The Trevor. One of the Mr. Burns. Urban Ranger? No, give me that. I want to see that one. Let's see this one again. Haircut's really working for me. It looks kind of like my haircut. That's kind of good. A little shorter than mine. Weird hairline. You see that? It's a little strange. I need to fix my forehead. Uh, yeah, let's keep looking. What else we got? Oh no, that's not. Oh boy, the Colonial, the Colonial Marine. Nice haircut. Shh, quiet. It's not a top knot, that's a ponytail. I don't want to adjust my lower jowls. Ronin. Yeah, that's more of a top knot. 
the neck. Is that it? Have I run the gamut of hairstyles? Okay, yeah. So we'll just we'll do mine. Not we'll do bad. The not bad. Urban Ranger. That's not bad, yeah. Okay, let's change the color. Where is hot pink? Where is hot pink? It's definitely not in here. I'll have to. Ooh, that's nice. Maybe like sexy old Adam. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Let's go with, uh, what do we think? Silver? White? How white should this be? New hairstyle. I like it. Yeah, I just conjured it with my hair magic. It looks like it was sprayed on. Silver looks a little better. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Mm, yeah, looking handsome. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. What else can we do? Let's fix our eye color here. Alright, scale. Man. Oh god. I guess it's just how big your eyes are. Okay. Left mouse. Move your eyes around. Oh my god. This is cool. I like the uh I like the character creation system so far. I mean it's it's it always feels a little funny for games like this because Oh beautiful panda, thank you. Welcome to the Mad Squad. Welcome to the Facial Sculpting Squad. Um, it's weird because y you never really, like, see your own face, honestly, like... Ooh. I see presets. Rested eyes. Hung eyes. Hungry eyes. I said yes when you asked me out. Betty Davis eyes. Thanks for the commentary. Stop objectifying me. What do you think, huh? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Alert eyes. Shifty eyes. Let's go with, uh, there's piercing. I like those ones. Or tired, maybe? If I do say so myself. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm gonna fix my. Totally has your eyes. I'm gonna fix my eyebrow game. These are too. How do I? How do I change my type of eyebrow? That's too much eyebrow. Yeah, here we go. Clean up pretty nice. And his eyes are a little far apart. Let's bring him in. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Let's. Okay, right, back to the eyebrows. Your eyes. They're one of my favorite things about you. Well, thank you, my dear. Jesus. Solid. Those are some heavy eyebrows. Yeah, let's just do average eyebrows. I was going to fix my forehead, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, okay. Here, let's make it a little more. Yeah, there we go. A little more prominent. A little more caveman styles. Here we go. That's my handsome guy. Uh, let's make with the facial hair. Give me a better beard than this weak ass shit. Can I have a real beard, please? Really? Come on. Where's the like? Oh, that's cute. But I need the like seriously out of control. Yeah, we're getting there. Give me more. Yes. Here we go. Oh hell's yeah. Beard or no beard? So much beard. How do I how do I make it bigger? Give me more of that. You have such a strong chin. Hun. You think my nose is too big? I do. And you need a slightly smaller nose, my friend. Such a cute nose. Nero 4 looked good. Let's look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. I have the big, big sexy lips. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. So it's like different smirking Carlos. I was looking. They're a little bit big. Let's. 
firm lips. I guess I can, I can go with like oh, a lapout. Yeah, that's good. Or a scowl. Okay, let's go with uh, one of these pouty ones. These sexy pouty lips. You have great lips. Uh. How do I how do I get in on this like just looking at myself in the mirror and having someone just like tell me I'm attractive all the time? That'd be kind of great. You know, every feature you keep focusing on or looking at is just really really good to me. Uh, I accept. Okay, what else can we do here? Ears. Kind of okay with his ears as they are. Let's see if there's a type. Can I? So handsome. Yeah, no, just like a bunch of mutant ears. Bad. Yeah, where's the hide under headphones? Invisible ears. This guy's like way too like rugged for me, like to look like me. But it's like kind of a cool wasteland approximation. There's something different. What is it? Something different about your upper jowls. What do you think, huh? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? I'm pretty okay with this dude. He's looking kind of good. Can I do like um, general like scars or anything? Oh, that's the face I fell in love with. A little wrinkly face there. My nose looks like a. Oh yeah, you can make it kind of broken. That's cool. Fix the bridge of his nose. Like a weird little bump in mine. There you go, like weird, weird, slightly approximation of me. That's a good start. We'll go with that. All right, cool. Here's our, here's our dude. Oh, I gotta change the color of my eyes. You know, like light, lighter blue. Jesus, Christ, honey, did you do something with your eyes? Did you? Your shit's kind of fucked up. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, his nose is still all broken. Let's fix that. Okay, I accept. What's different about you? Yeah, tough guy. N neck, neck type. Smooth, an old Jenny Smooth neck over here. All right, handsome. Let's go to the wasteland. Uh, oh, now I gotta do extras and body. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the beard like it's better because it's not like a uh, just a texture. Thanks for the resub, Dead Megatron. Okay, yeah, let's go put a helmet on. Um, yeah, markings. Ugh. That's not what I want. It's cool though. Let's give. Um, I want some freckles, but these ones seem to be like kind, kind of intense. My freckles are not. That's like me in the summer. Yeah, throw some freckles on there. <gasps> Lip color. Wait, no. How do not I? Bad. Not bad. Color one. Color two. Color three. Oh yeah, more pink lips, eye socket shade. Oh, this is like how dark your character is. I see. Okay. No. Oh, I can change the opacity. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's go back and do that. Thank you. Um, I don't know. So any of these? My lip. Actually, the lips color is a little a little intense now. I need to tone it down. How come I can have lipstick, but I can't have like, or like lip color, but I can't have pink hair? What's that about? Game. Okay. All right. Escape. And markings, freckles. Hello, handsome. Oh yeah. Okay. So I can have the middle ones, but I'll tone them down. I'll tone them down to like fifty percent or something. Yeah. A little freckly there. 
damage. Yeah, here we go. Because if you're going to be a cool guy, you got to have a cool guy, Scar. So everyone knows you're tough. Tough and cool. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that anime one here? Uh, I'm going to remove these. And... Let's do like a faded version of this thing. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. I do say so myself. Okay, where'd it go? I thought I clicked it in there. Yeah. No, why didn't it accept? What am I doing wrong here? Oh, E to accept. Do a... There. But I clicked E. I want my scar. The game doesn't want me to have a cool scar on my face. Space. Apply. Oh, you put it on your face with space. And my freckles didn't save. There we go. I see. Okay. God. Now I understand if I had just read the thing. Uh, okay. Got it. Got it. I see how it works now. There. That's And now my character looks paler. Okay. Let's go fix my freckles. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Freckles, upper. More of them, please. What, middle? Yeah, middle freckles. There you go. Solid. Okay. Ready. Yeah, look at that. Look like a handsome person. I got some. Did my scar not apply? I don't know. Whatever. I click the thing. I hit space to apply. Now I will reduce the visibility of it. Yeah, okay. Except. Oh, there we go. Looking good. <laughs> oh, looking good. I like how your face is all scarred up. All right. All right, body type. Super ripped guy. Super skins guy. Really unrealistic body type large guy. Uh, let's go somewhere between thin and large. Maybe like... Get a little older. Kind of like softening up there. Yeah, I'm into that. Okay. Looking good. His lips are still a little red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> Excuse me, honey. I need to admire my own face some more. Um, color of mouth. Oh, skin tone. There we go. I can pale myself up a little bit. Okay, mouth type. Color. I did that already. Mouth color. No, that's just body color. Okay. Uh, where was it? Extras? Markings? Nope. Yeah, here we go. Okay, space to remove. There we go. Confirm character. Yes. All right. This it's me. Huh? Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? <laughs> just why don't you just hit me in the face while while you're at it? All right, Nora. All right. So here's me, the old old veteran guy. Um, let's. Yeah, that's weird that the audio is so low. Uh, let's, we'll put it up, and then if it's if it's bananas loud, just let me know. Quick save that shit. Okay, so this is my house. Welcome to the future of the 1950s. Activate baseball glove. The glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. I'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. <laughs> to think one day he's gonna learn how to drive. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Sean, play with. Hello, infant. Doodly -doo 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 -doo. Oh, 
Oh, Blast Radius. I love that board game. It's not as good as Super Blast Radius, but uh... all right. Here's my character. Is my handsome, my handsome man that I'm gonna throw a power armor on as soon as humanly possible. You love rockets, don't you, kid? Dread Sorrow, welcome back. Okay. I have a kid. I have I have I have bread. Congratulations. Go away. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. It's the year twenty seventy seven and you're developing photos? Man, the alternate future really is weird. War never changes. Got that right. No need to get dressed twice. Activate shirt. All right, it's a cool house and stuff, and it's all gonna get blown up by nuclear fire, and my family's gonna die, and it's gonna be a huge bummer. But whatever. Oh, hello, my robot companion. Yes. I guess I'm a vampire, I guess, because, like, that's my house, but I don't see myself. Alright. Yeah, let's go hide. Oh, Grognak. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Grown man reading comic sugar books. Bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Sounds like someone made a stick. I should attend to young Sean. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth is really good with Sean. I would feel really uncomfortable about, like, I get it, like, he's a robot and stuff, and he's programmed for this stuff, but, like, he literally has fire coming out of his butt. Um, so I would be worried about him near my baby. Who doesn't love an autumn jamboree? Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. The salesman comes for you. Good morning. vault calling. Hey, buddy. vault Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir. And helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vault, what? if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. I mean, I that sounds great. How happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Well, then let's get on it. I'm glad you're here. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. <laughs> Awkward <laughs> smile. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm, a precious commodity. Uh -huh. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for... Oh, yeah, keep, keep turning this shit up, because unlike every other video game I've ever played in my life, still way too fucking quiet. Alright, there you go. Let's try that. Entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Hot damn. That sounds great. Sounds great. That's oh, what I said. It is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sarcastic. No, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. 
Uh, let's let's see some information about you. Okay, what kind of character should I play? Should I do what I usually do and be like sneaky talky guy? I feel like that's what I want. Uh, feel free to give me some guidance on this, like mechanically, because I can't remember what any of this shit does. So that's cool. Um, so let's see. Strength is for punchy and carry. Perception is for weapon accuracy, so that's cool. Uh, endurance is health. Sprinting. Charisma is talky talky. Dialogue. Prices for bartering. Uh, intelligence is experience points. Agility is action points and sneaky sneaky. And, okay. Luck one. Alright, let's go. What's average supposed to be? Oh, so it's changed now. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's, um, let's do the old perception. How does this look? Two, this is like really high on intelligence. Maybe not much on charisma and agility. Hmm. <laughs> I like sneaky talky. Sneaky smart talky. This seems kind of good. Yeah, okay. Because remember, I remember playing Fallout. Um, I need a name. Okay. His name is Gregory. Gregory Peterson. Okay, give me. That's what I want for my name. Mr. Gregory Peterson. Okay, well, let me, let me check. So, intelligence, yeah, do I need that high for intelligence? Yeah, let's let's pull that down, too, and we'll bump. There we go, 666. Six, six. Maybe that's a little better. Yeah, it works differently compared to Fallout. Okay. Yeah, he seemed, seemed a little smart before. I think this is probably good. I think this is what we're going to go with. Do I need more perception? I don't know. I don't even know. Overall fitness, action points, experience, dialogue success. My health will be kind of low, but that's fine. Okay, cool. And I can always, I can always bump. Um, I just bump this stuff up as I go. Let's start here. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um. Thanks again. Yeah, dog. It's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Ah, God damn it, Sean. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. Why is that in sarcastic quotations, Codsworth? You heard Codsworth. Go on. All right, you little hooligan. Come to Papa. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Oh, you mean me and the president? He loves that. Oh, little baby. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? I'm fine, thank you, dear. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. <laughs> Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Codsworth, what's wrong? Weird sliding doors. Yes, followed by uh oh, things are occurring. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have. We do have coming in. So this is this guy the Ron Perlman voice? It sounds like it. Reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. Oh, the humanity. Get to the vault. Now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. 
Get your ass to the vault. It's okay. Yeah, really good timing on that insurance. Goodbye, beautiful landscape. Goodbye, beautiful trees. Oh no. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Well, look at you, sexy armor guy. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? They are going to be sublimated. Yeah, say goodbye to colors, everybody. A new life awaits you in the Almost underground there. colonies. Be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh, these cringing fiends. Oh, okay, well, you're dead. There you go. Just... Hold on! Who doesn't love a little klaxon now and then? We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later, no, no, we'd all be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Yeah, sh shut up, shut Everyone, up, everybody. Up oh, it's the overseer. Through the door there. Hey, just head up the stairs. We'll take care of everything. All right. Okay, I believe you. Step over to the table. Here you are. Head down right the hall the there. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Oh. All right, let's go, everybody. It's See? down the hallway right there. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it. Why are there already so many people here? Do they just get, like, a head start on the apocalypse? Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we This have. is your home now. How long do you think we'll be down here? Several hundred years. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's pretty cool though. I mean, prepared for the future, right? Oh yeah. Cryo chambers. Hey there. This way, please. Just right, step doctor. in here and put your vault suit on. How am I supposed to put it in? Oh, it's a decontamination pod. Sorry. Just climb in the old pod here and get... The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. I don't know, man. I don't know if I... Time for a whole new life. I don't know if I believe this. Resident secure. Resident evil. Occupant vitals. Normal. Yeah, decontaminated my ass. In. Yeah, that's right. Four, three, two. Is this one of those like horrible like the fly incidents where like your wife and your baby get mutated together into some kind of giant baby person? Hmm. Brainview just just pointed out that literally, literally my wife was just put in a fr refrigerator. And then it's all green now. Yeah, they just freeze off all the bacteria. What? I feel groggy. 
This is the one. Here. Oh, mysterious figure. My wife! <laughs> My baby! Why am I not saying anything? Ah, oh, no! Ah! Oh. Well... Damn it, Metzger. It's good, another game that ends with your your fucking spouse getting killed. At least it's equal opportunity fridging. I really hope that uh, <coughs> Well, that's It's kinda disappointing that that's the beginning of the game. Like We'll see if she's still alive. I'm going to reserve judgment. Yeah, I'm trying to vacate. All right. Oh, fell down. Come on. There has to be a release. I mean, maybe she got shot, but then froze. So maybe she didn't die. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. You did this, and I'll get Sean back. Uh, I promise. It's the most like, yeah, the most literal fridging I've seen in a while. Oh well. Anybody else want to come hang out with me? Robot frozen in the pods. Why would Vault do this? Because vault are a bunch of motherfuckers. Heavy breathing, eh? Alright, so this is just like a tiny little vault. I can't wait to meet my old man's son. It's gonna be sweet. <coughs> oh my god, that's a big roach. Security instructions. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Security eyes only. Designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Maintaining integrity, monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are we allowed, are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Yeah, yeah, lethal force. Gotcha. Resident admittance. All personnel are part of the entry area, assist with admittance of the residents. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for should be... So we're basically playing the whole game as a quarantine from Apocalypse World. I come out and I take a whole bunch of psi harm. Yeah, I, it would have been really cool if you, uh, if you could have, like... If, if she, like, she got shot and then wasn't dead, right? That, that would be really cool, because that's what I assumed. I was like, okay, well, she's still alive. Maybe. We'll see. Monitor vital signs. Blah, 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 blah. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% has perished. Jesus. Independent research is encouraged. Okay, I am. It's fine. I'm not really learning anything here. Due to the nature of personnel will be expected to form duties outside their normal qualifications, such as janitorial and food preparation. Alright. Following a nuclear event, while it took them on the hazards such as radiation level, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Upon receiving the all clear, vault tech personnel may be evacuated over your discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals will not associate with vault tech. Assuming that Voltex sticks around that long. 
Short term assignment non resident personnel are expected to carry out research while waiting the all clear signal. In the absence of an all clear message, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Wow, that's really short. Let's see what happened. Alright, October 23rd. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. And it was just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping me frozen is a big experiment. For a better future. Or something. Um, I don't know. It doesn't seem right. We were smiling at them before putting them on ice. Shouldn't have told them something. No, I just read that one. Give me the December. Oh, it's Christmas. Christmas Underground. Got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift we got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. Are they hiding something from us? Another company secret from the higher ups? Whatever, just a few more months till the all clear is supposed to come through. Yeah, sure. Only a few weeks left in the mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are saying the all clear signal's never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. Not just the fact I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months, it's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months tops. Overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient. Okay. So there's some kind of there was some kind of meeting, and then what's the last entry? No all clear is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. Handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in the office alongside the rest of the science staff. Supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. Huh, alright. Ah, it's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. I'm sure that went great. I'm taking all this crap. Taking it, taking it, taking all these things. Oh, yeah, no, I'm gonna vacate the shit out of this place. Ha! Oh shit, a roach. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Surprise attack this motherfucker. Yeah! Sneak attack for three times damage! Roaches? What the hell? Well, that doesn't look healthy. I'm gonna not go through there. Oh no! Skeletor! What happened here? Where is everyone? Ooh, I'm looking handsome! Mmm! <laughs> Aztec Spartan just pointed out, walking around with your hands up would be super awkward. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Got everything? Let's see. No, sit in chair. Yeah, I looted all these bodies. I'm good. What does transfer do? Uh, okay. So it's my inventory. How do I smoke those cigarettes? Is that a gun? Oh shit! Wait, hold on. Stim packs. Hells yeah. Pistole. Glasses? How do I equip those? Where's my inventory? God, I love the chunky design of things in this game. Yeah, so good. Is this all that's left? Oh, Skeletor, what happened to you? Welcome to Robco Industries Termlink. Overseer instructions. 
That's the long-term effects of suspended animation. I know. I know about all this. I read this somewhere. Do not suspend the animation. Your staff is considered expendable. Kill everybody and then put them in the pods. Gross. Oh, the fry later. I have long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Overseer's log. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Vault Tech Supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. The vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time? I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of future realized. Uh, yeah, no, for real. It's happened. We were lucky most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than we expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Nordhagen! Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family we waited to the last minute. Hey, that was us! I was worried there'd be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people, I must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Something life-threatening, but unusual. The pod was malfunctioning. The array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in Voltex remote override systems might have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. No all clear signal yet. We're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that. Despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. I think we can just leave. They're insane. The radioactive exposure would be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. Can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just... Faction led by the security personnel turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots, I'll not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. Consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. Alright, so standard stuff. I'm trying to fill us in on kind of what what's happened. We're going to go ahead and open the tunnel so we can get out of here. Do a quick check to make sure. I think it's funny that without the the pit boy, I can't actually look at my. Oh god, tab is back, not escape. I can't actually look at my inventory. But if I transfer, I can look at what I have. Well, we'll get around to that. Ooh, a preserved cigarette pack. Cigarette. Nice. Coming back later for you. Ooh, the cry later. I'm gonna go ahead and make a note. Vault 111 has a cryolator. I want that shit. Get that lockpick up. Lockpicking, um, lockpicking and pickpocketing and stealth. I'm all about it. I'm gonna be Vault Ninja. But also, like, charismatic Vault Ninja. Oh yeah, gun. Alright, let's, let's gun this thing. Hey, fucker. You want some? Yeah, fuck all y'all. No! Gotta get it. And shoot it where they're gonna be, not where they are. Ow. Ow, stop shooting me. Or biting me, or whatever the fuck you're doing. Well, I've got lots of rad roach meat. I've got, that's that's good now. Grody giant ass insects. I want to get to the part where I get to start. Uh, 
I get to start interacting with NPCs. Oh, left alt. Oh, rad, I can pistol whip people. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Activate Skeletor! A brand new Vault 111 jumpsuit. No oh, shit! I should just melee those things. I shouldn't be wasting bullets. These roaches. Aw, oh, hells yeah! What up? I'm a pit boy. Get out of here, Bonesy. Pit boy, activate. <laughs> so cool. Alright, how's this thing work? Initiating. Select a tab with mouse one. Change sections with A and D. Oh yeah. New jumpsuit, regular jumpsuit. Let's put on my eyeglasses. Miscellaneous junk, mods, ammo. A map of Vault 111 or Sanctuary Hills. And a radio. Yeah, nothing to tune in on here. Perk chart. Oh, what the heck? What is this madness? This is my character sheet thing now? Oh, that's so cool. It's like a little vault with. Ah, oh, that's adorable. I love it. Um. Okay. How do I? Uh. Yeah, I get a bonus to my perception because my glasses, which is the opposite of how glasses work. Where's my, um, how do I change the... color of this Pip-Boy? Where do I install custom backgrounds? Where's the Angry Birds on this thing? Okay, is it in settings? Display. HUD color? Eh, Pip-Boy color. Yeah! Give me that white Pip-Boy. Yeah, there we go. Matches my cool hair. Alright, now I'm a real PC. I got all that hoo-ha out of the way. How do we open the door? Where's the terminal? Also, I want to see... Yeah, looking smooth now. Okay, make button go. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. I'm from Vault 111. You probably never heard of it. It's super underground. World outside awaits. We're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna explore the wasteland, but first we're gonna take a short break. So stick around and